So I'm Holly Robinson Pete. And I'm Rodney Pete. I'm the co author of My Brother Charlie along with my daughter Ryan. And I'm the author of Not My Boy. Autism is a brain disorder that affects a child's ability to connect socially. So autism is a very devastating disorder that can really make it very difficult for families. About two years ago, my daughter Ryan came to me and she said, look, kids at school need to understand what autism is because kids are making fun of RJ, they don't understand what it is. No and, one's playing with them. Yeah. And I thought it was such a beautiful idea because I knew she wanted to advocate for her brother, and that's what my brother Charlie is about. She was the total inspiration for it. And Rodney Pete has played in Super Bowls, and I've spoken in front of a lot of people, but nothing was scarier than talking to 54th graders. You know, kids are brutally honest, and they fired questions away, and we answered them as honestly as we could, but it was the best experience we, we could, probably could have done. You know. It was a great idea to sit down and talk to these kids at school. So my brother Charlie is an opportunity for uh, children to read about a kid who's really cool. And in the book, Ryan says, you know what, if you just get to know my brother and you take your time and be patient with him, you'll find out he's a great kid. You know, as, as RJ has grown, there's been many, many triumphs that, that have happened in our lives. And he's able to communicate. Yeah, things um, they said he would never do. And along the way, you know, I think the first couple of years, I didn't know, under, I didn't really understand how to talk to him, break through to him. When I was reading Rodney's book, Not My Boy, I, I, I would sit up at night and cry because I had forgotten so much of what we went through. We've come so far. You know, obviously there's many reasons to write this book, but one of the big reasons is to really share some of the stories. And as I started talking to other fathers, it was amazing how similar the stories were. Um, there was one circumstance in therapy and I got down there and RJ didn't respond to me at all. Um, and at that moment I knew that I better get on board and understand what autism is. Otherwise I'm going to lose my son, my family, everything around me. It was important for me to, uh, to share those stories. So I think it's, it's, it's something I hope a lot of men read, and not just men, but women as well, and change that expectation. Once you're able to change that expectation, then you can grow and move forward. But as long as you sit right there in that place and feel this sense of why me, why my son, not my boy, and you stay there, then you're just stagnant. And so I think what's great about Rodney's book is that it talks about just really um, having hope that these things will happen. and. Find a way, come up with some way to figure out how you can have a little bit more empathy. The biggest part is that there's a small window of time that you, yeah. you have to connect yeah. with the kids. If you're wasting a year, six months of being in denial and your self-pity and your ego, that's time wasted from a child being able to be brought out of that world. Yeah, and that's why I love about our two books. It gives people opportunities to look at autism and on different levels. Everybody has a different approach, but the one thing we have in common is that we want these children to be embraced, and I think that that rings true in Not My Boy and in My Brother Charlie. And I'm just thrilled that we're able to get that message out.